Uh, uh, Ms. Angel Ng, Ms. Mr. Veniam Kurabrowski, uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning from Chinese University of Hong Kong. Welcome to the opening ceremony of Hong Kong Dialogue, a three-day forum to foster dialogue among social entrepreneurs, government, business professionals, and youth leaders to achieve the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, the SDGs. We all come from different backgrounds and countries, but we have one common goal. We are all citizens of this planet. We need to incorporate the Sustainable Development Goals into our daily living. CUHK, Chinese University of Hong Kong, is committed to nurturing global citizens by empowering young people through skill development, identity construction, leadership incubation, and youth participation. We have also put a lot of effort in nurturing students' entrepreneurial spirit, a conviction that they can effect positive changes through curiosity, critical questioning, innovation, and an enduring passion for creating something great from scratch. To nurture the entrepreneurial spirit among the youth, the Hong Kong Social Enterprise Challenge, or Hong Kong SEC, organized by CUHK Center for Entrepreneurship, has been a pioneer in the city in helping young people fulfill their vision and create positive social impact in a sustainable way. This year, Hong Kong SEC has partnered with Youth Co Lab and the Hong Kong chapter of the United Nations Sustainable Development Solutions Network, or SDSN, which is hosted by CUHK, to organize the Hong Kong Dialogue, a project to extend beyond Hong Kong our experience in promoting social entrepreneurship. Hong Kong Dialogue is a major event under the Youth 4.0 Initiative, which was just launched in September this year, not very long ago. It is a strategic partnership between Youth Co Lab and CUHK and represents cross sector collaboration between academia, business, and government to encourage social entrepreneurship and increase awareness of SDGs among young people in Hong Kong. I'm glad to report that a recent citywide survey done by the Youth 4.0 Initiative, commissioned by the SDSN Hong Kong, revealed that over 90% of the young respondents indicated that they were willing to support sustainable development, especially initiatives related to the environment. This is a very good sign. We have young people who feel socially responsible. Very, very encouraging finding. I personally highly recommend all of you to join the guided tour of our Jockey Club Museum of Climate Change, which is part of this three-day program. The MOCC is the first museum of its kind in the world where you can learn about climate change and its impact and the latest developments in environmental conservation and sustainability. It is also a please touch museum. You can actually do things that can virtually change the world and find out how bad it is, how good it is, whatever. So feel free to go in and exert your influence and find out what it will do. As the center of knowledge generation, concentration, and dissemination, this is my definition for a university's job, is that we preserve, conserve, generate, we disseminate, and we also apply, and most importantly, we concentrate knowledge in one place where people can interact they can bring in their different background, different knowledge base, and come up with something creative and innovative. As such, the higher education sector plays a very vital role in promoting and communicating the importance of sustainable development. It is our solemn duty. In January this year, CUHK joined hands with the Hong Kong Jockey Club Charities Trust to launch the SDSN Hong Kong. And I'm pleased to announce that next month, SDSN Hong Kong will launch a youth chapter called SDSN Youth Hong Kong to provide our young people 
with opportunities to exchange ideas with different sectors and a system to turn their innovative ideas into action in driving the UN Sustainable Development Goals. We want to take what you have up here and spread it to the rest of the world in a way that's actionable. That's what, what we want to achieve. So last but not least, I, will, I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to all our sponsors, partners, and supporters for making the Youth 4.0 Initiative and Hong Kong Dialogue possible. I wish you all a very enjoyable and enlightening forum. Thank you very much.